struggling for life. The oxygen deprived flame swallowed by darkness. That's a haiku I wrote. It's uh, it's about a flame that uh, isn't getting enough oxygen. I think next year I might try out for Poet Laureate or Poet Acetate. Either one would be fine. What was that? Hello? Is anybody there? Let's go in the lecture room right now. Hey folks, thanks as always for watching Science with Mike. First, a disclaimer. In the episode with ammonium dichromate, people were saying, hey, Mike, did you accidentally leave the M off? No, I was saving it for this episode because today we're going to talk about how oxygen is amazing. Whether you're breathing it in or reacting something with it, today we're going to react four elements with air and then oxygen. Those aren't the same thing. There's oxygen in air, but air is not oxygen. Air is a mixture. So let's talk about what's in air right now. Here's a diagram, kind of like what air would look like. Granted, it's a gas and it would be more spread out, but this is 100 particles. And if you look at these particles, the red ones are oxygen, which do the reacting. It's what attaches to your hemoglobin when you breathe. It's what reacts with things like we're going to do today. But the other 79 out of 100 particles are nitrogen gas, and that guy, that's argon. And as it turns out, they're inert. So if something's going to react with air, you got to kind of hope that that particle is going to bump into one of these red things. Now, on the flip side, what we're going to do today, after reacting things in air, we're going to react them with 100% oxygen. And it turns out that we have a tank of 100% oxygen downstairs in the lab. Let's go. Here's our friend, the oxygen tank, which has pure oxygen in it. And here's our candle. And just to demonstrate for you how much uh, combustion is um, supported by oxygen, I'm going to take and just start to breathe in. See that? Take it away. Burns just like it normally would. Breathe oxygen in there really, really burns a lot hotter and a lot cleaner. And could you imagine how well our automobiles would run and how little pollutants we'd have if we ran them on pure oxygen, but too expensive. So that's the deal. Now let's go take some uh, oxygen and collect it so we can later burn things in containers of pure oxygen in the fume hood. Next, I'm going to take this tube from the tank, connect it to this gas collecting trough, which basically just bubbles the gas underwater. I'm going to take some of these gas collecting bottles and basically push the water out so we know when they're full. And that's the problem. We, you know, it's, oxygen's an invisible gas, and we really don't know when these containers are full, but right now, I know that is full of pure oxygen. Save this bad boy for the finale. Five hundred milliliters. All right, let's go to the fume hood where we are going to react some stuff. Steel wool, mostly iron, you wouldn't think of iron burning. And to be honest with you, in air, it really doesn't. It just kind of smolders a little bit. Nothing to really all that outrageous. Take another piece of steel wool and do the same thing, except this time I'm going to put it in the oxygen. There we go. Another piece of steel wool. I think steel wool, if I recall, is made from genetically modified sheep and I would not wear a sweater of it. There you go. And that's the power of the pure oxygen environment right there. Let's try that again. 
Looks like a sparkler. Good stuff. This is a burning spoon, special spoon made for burning. And as you can see, I've taken another element, sulfur, symbol S, and we are going to put it in the flame, let it burn in air environment first, then to the pure oxygen. And it is a good thing, really good thing we are in the fume hood because when you burn sulfur, it smells so bad and actually you can taste it. That's what happens. Now first it'll liquefy and then it will actually start burning with a purplish flame. And you might be able to see a little bit of that bluer flame coming off. But it's a different ball game when it goes in here. Phosphorus, symbol P. And I'll tell you what, um, this might have a reddish color to it, if you can see. And uh, that's because they, you know, they use it in match heads. That one might, might be where it looks familiar to you. We get it started here. Fume hood kind of makes it tough to light things because uh, there's so much motion, but trust me, it's better off in here. Make sure we can get it lit. Yeah, it looks like we're there. Into the pure oxygen. Bang, look at that. Now that white stuff you can see there, that's the oxides of phosphorus, which are solid. Making a little cloud of solid in there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that made the point. <laughs> okay, enough of phosphorus. And I'm, I'm more scared of the next thing, which is magnesium. So let's go do that. You just cool off there. Magnesium, symbol MG. This is a ribbon of magnesium. Not as finely divided as steel wool, but it's so reactive we can touch it off and it is releasing a lot of energy and that's that light and the heat and when I tell my students in class I say in a staring contest burning magnesium always wins that little bit of stuff hanging off of there it's probably gonna break off soon that's magnesium oxide MGO Magnesium oxide, right there, fell off, kind of like an ash almost, but it's magnesium oxide, magnesium oxide, MgO, and it's really stable because it's come downhill a long ways in energy. Now, folks, I gotta admit to you, um, I could have rehearsed this, but I've never, in my 23 years of teaching chemistry, put burning magnesium into pure oxygen. You saw what it did in air, right? Now, what I've got is a little bit more sturdy container. It's made of hard glass, borosilicate glass. Um, and, uh, but still, that doesn't take away from the fact that I am genuinely frightened right now. But this will be our finale, for sure. I think I'm just going to drop it in as a ball. All right. Genuinely not the most comfortable right now. Get it started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> and it's all gone. I'm seeing spots. I can't even see the camera. What, what took seconds before? What? 20 seconds? I don't know to burn that big strip. We just took care of in like a fraction of a second. That thing is coated with magnesium oxide. I am out of here, guys. I lived until next week. I'm going to leave you with another haiku or what I like to call a maiku. Thank you for watching Science with Mike's Oxygen Show. I think it was lit. I wonder if I could put this candle out with my tears. <laughs> <laughs>